Ho ho buddies, welcome to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth and today we're playing uh, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Uh, last time, we're in the middle of the library, escape room uh, thing that Zero has set. I think this is going to be, uh, once, we've solved the, once we've solved this, it'll be another, uh, another ending to 999. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. So uh, we had a little bit of uh, a dialogue from Snake, uh, giving more detail about the experiment that happened uh, Nine years ago, about how um, a collection of people um, had to, I think it was a, a, like either twins or brothers and sisters. Um, they were all kind of separated from their sibling. Nine were on a boat and nine were on like a, um, what's it called when you have like a mock up of that? I don't know. A mock up of that, I guess, is better than anything. Um, and the people that were on um, the fake version of the boat had to mentally communicate with the people who were on the actual boat about how to escape from the boat, essentially. Um, and then uh, Seven told us to get back down and help solve the puzzle and uh, don't sit around on our bony asses. So let's move on. Get down here already! Seven's voice echoed up from, uh, from below. Snake took a deep breath, blinked rapidly as if... Uh, just waking up from a long nap. He's right. Let's go, shall we? We don't have much time left. We need to get out of here and soon. Snake headed for the stairs, but Junpei put an arm uh, to stop him. Hold it. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Just one more thing. Are you sure that there were 18 kids? Why? Well, I thought it was only 16. Oh. Yes, that was what they said on the news, wasn't it? Yes, I have no doubt that 18 children were abducted and used in Hongo's experiment. After all, you couldn't exactly play a nonary game with any less, could you? Well, yeah, but... Are you saying that the news got it wrong? Yes, I am. There were two more children. However, they had no relatives that I'm aware of. I imagine no one filed a police report when they, were, uh, when they went missing. They were brother and sister like Clover and I. The brother's name was Aoi. The sister's name was... Her name was... Snake couldn't seem to bring himself to continue. It looked as if uh, what he was about to say brought him great pain. Her name was Akane. That was the girl who... died. Whoa. Junpei felt as if he'd been punched in the stomach. His vision went blurry and his head felt light. Akane Kurashiki died. Nine years ago. Then, who is June? No, 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 that's impossible. It can't be true. Akane isn't that common of a name. Uncommon of a name. If Snake had uh, known her last name, well, that's a different matter entirely. So they share a name. A lot of people uh, do. It doesn't mean anything. It was someone else. Of course it was. It has to be. Oops. <laughs> Junpei shook his head hard and pulled himself back to reality. Is something wrong, Junpei? Your breathing sounds, uh, strange. Then Snake had noticed. Junpei cleared his throat and tried to act calm. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm fine. Let's get back down there, alright? Snake raised an eyebrow but said nothing. He headed down the stairs, Junpei bringing up the rear. I couldn't do it. Why didn't I ask? What's her last name? I just couldn't get the words to come out. With every step he took, the cold hard sound of feet against metal dug at his heart. Alright. Um, okay, so... We need to do the book thing, right? I think we didn't do that last time. Sheldrake. 
This is it. This is what the shadow picture was pointing to. But didn't it say five at the end of the shadow picture? Yes, I think we need to find the fifth volume. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's a big red button behind this book. I guess we should push this button. Okay. What was that sound? Sounds like something really big was moving. It came from the top floor. All right, let's go check it out. Where are the stairs? Uh, it's not that way, is it? It is this way. What is that? Okay. This looks like an output monitor. I bet the letters you type in the keyboard will show up here. Well, I bet you got to type something on that keyboard. What have we got here? We've got 13, 14, 15, 13? Oh, hang on, no. 13, 14, 10, 13. Yeah, but you can only tell. Uh, you can only enter letters. It looks like you can only enter four letters. Hmm, let's see how this works. I guess you need to hit enter once you type in the letters. Right, okay, it's going to take me away from this screen, so I'm going to try and work this out. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then A is 10. So this is 10. These are the same one. B, C, D. So these both are D. And this is E. Okay, so this is spells dead. And you can erase what you typed with uh, clear. Okay, I get the basic operations. Why is it going to tell me every time that I can press C to clear? Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it's... I guess this is different. Yes! Yay! You did it, Junpei! It's unlocked now! Good job, Junpei! Whoa there, don't get too excited! The password was dead, remember? Just makes me think whatever's waiting for us isn't good! So what? Jeez, you're such an old lady! We can't be worrying about stuff like that! I mean, come on! We got it, uh, we got it to unlock, didn't we? Let's go! Hurry up! Okay. Alright. Let's get this thing open. You found it. You genius. The door opened, and Junpei and the others leapt through it. All right, this is the next. Just as Seven was about to finish his sentence, their attention was drawn to the clang of metal on metal ringing out behind them. The door. It spun around. The door they'd just come through had slammed shut. Did that close on its own? Don't tell me you can't go back. I don't know. Let's see. Junpei grabbed hold of it with both hands and pulled with all his strength. Damn it. Looks like it locked automatically. Is there any other way out? Well, there's another door over on the right. There's a card reader next to it. It's got a red light on it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked, too. Well, there is a card reader, right? Yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we could open the door and leave. Well, yeah, that might work, but... Hey, wait a minute! Are you saying we're going to have to search through this room for one little card? Oh, man. They took a second look at the room they'd found themselves in. Oh, my God. It was filled with piles upon piles of all manner of things. The only word that could describe it was chaotic. It was like a tornado had passed through, followed by a giant who uh, had placed, uh, picked up and shaken the entire room a few times. Looks that way. Junpei's heart fell. No way. 
For real. Clover and Seven looked as though they were about to cry. Well, we can sit down and wait to die, if that's what you'd prefer. I'd rather doubt that, uh, I'd rather doubt that, however, so it would be wise to start looking. We haven't much time. Let's find that key card. Oh, and the Neptune key as well. You won't be able to get through the hallway without it. Alright. Alright. Let's begin. Let's do this. Seek a way out. Oh god, look at all this stuff to explore. Okay, so... There's this here. Hey Junpei! Isn't this a nautical table? Yeah, I feel like I've seen this before. New material has been added to the file screen. Bam, 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 bam. These are piles of crap everywhere. There are piles of crap everywhere. And this place is a mess. It's so messy, I don't know where to start. Some of this crap looks familiar. I think a lot of these parts are uh, of the puzzles uh, we've solved in the other rooms. Oh, really? If that's true, then this room could be Zero's laboratory. Perhaps Zero would shut himself in this room to devise the machines and puzzles he'd need to see his plan come to... fruition. Um... <laughs> okay. Uh, what is that? Gosh, this desk is really big and it feels really sturdy. Yeah, it does seem pretty heavy duty. I suppose it belongs to whoever uses this room, wouldn't you say? It's a chair. <laughs> What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, what's this? There's a control panel in front of the big screen here. wonder if any of these buttons do anything. There's something on the screen now. What's this? There are 15 cells here with numbers and letters in them. Let me see that. Ah, I see. So whenever you touch the cell, the one next to it turn on or, s or off. You just got to use that to make the all cells on the right and the bottom green. Um. Hey Junpei, I found this piece of paper under that thing. I want to take a look at it. You think this might have something to do with the puzzle? It's a piece of paper Clover gave to me. There are a bunch of numbers and letters connected uh, by equal signs on it. Just like she said, this is probably related to the puzzle on the screen somehow. Thanks Clover. This really helps. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and try again. Anyway, it looks like I need to make all of the cells all green. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Okay. So this, 6 plus 4, so A is 10. Oops. Okay. This is tough. Right, so I need these two. Uh, right, let's reset it. 1 plus F plus 5 is L. Is L. F um, is 6 plus 9, so F is 15. So technically L is 21. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. L is 21. Okay. B is 12. Is that right? No, B is 11, right? So 11 plus 15. 
No. Uh, 11 plus 15. 15 plus 6. So if I got rid of this... Right, okay. Okay. Um... You don't go back. Okay. Oh, cool. Did it, Junpei? You're so smart! You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle. Either that or you're lucky. Uh, just what I would have expected of you, Junpei. Uh, hey, come on, you're embarrassing me. Whoa, whoa, don't get cocky, kid. We don't got time for that. Look at this. Check out the right edge of the control panel. The lid slid open and something came out. Okay. This. Oh, a cross emblem. Okay. What else we got here? Ah, okay. All right, to put the emblems into the four indentations of the desk, but... Huh. Nothing's happening. Wait, what's Snake doing? I feel symbols engraved just above each indentation. On the upper left is the steering wheel symbol. On the upper right, the cross symbol. On the bottom left, the mysterious circle symbol. And lastly, the waffle pattern is engraved near the bottom right indentation. Additionally, each uh, symbol seems to have been given a number. Steering wheel, cross, mysterious circle, wolf, waffle patterns. Perhaps we need to insert the emblems in this order. That order, huh? Alright. What else we got? This monitor, monitor is part of this machine. It's really dim, though. It's got a map of the world on it, but I can barely see it. Um... the exit. Gotta get it open as fast as we can. Some monitors hanging down from the ceiling here. Uh, piles of crap everywhere. That's a pretty impressive mess. If we try and search every one of these, we're going to be at, uh, at it till the cows come home. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. We're going to have to go bringing them in ourselves then. Don't you get smart with me, kid. Uh, how about we deal with this area later, okay, guys? We should try something more promising. Um, okay, so... There's something written on this piece of paper. Looks like we've got three sheets of the stuff. Your material's been added to the file screen. Um... That's... Sturdy... Study nautical table. Hang on. Uh, nautical table from the study. It was found on the crafting table. Fading line on the right edge must be connected to the line on the left edge. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. I figured it was something I had in my... Okay. The map of the world on here. I can compare the nautical table I just found with this. I see. Interesting. I think I just need to turn this device according to the instructions on the nautical table. Alright, so... It's found on the drafting table. The faded line on the right edge must be connected to the line of the... Okay. Right, so this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So south... Write this down. Southwest... Southeast, northeast, east, north, east. Okay. Uh, Junpei, there's a steering wheel over here. Ah, oh, that should work. Like the steering wheel. Sterling. No, I'm too poor for that. Stealing. That might solve my money problems, but I'd rather not. All oh, right. You were in the chart room, weren't you? 
There was a puzzle like this in the wheelhouse. I can figure out how this one works just by looking at the uh, looking at the compass. I figure this uh, thing will work just like that other one. The other one. The important part is this nautical table we just found. I just have to match up the directions on the compass with the lines on the nautical table. I used the steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I'm g think I'm going to use the wheel attached to the side here. Okay then, show me now. Of course. Um, okay. Maybe I ought to run through the instructions. This uh, looks like it probably works the same as the steering wheel in, in the wheelhouse did. If I just touch the direction I want to turn it, the compass will turn that direction. I just gotta press stop when the compass is pointing where I want it to. I'm betting something will happen if I can do it right. All right, let's do this. All right, so we want we want south. Stop. And then we want west. And then southeast. Uh, oops, wrong way. Keep on going till we get to southeast. And then northeast is this way. Um, east. North and then east. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you did it, Junpei. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Uh, knock it off. Hey, we don't have time for screwing around here. Check out the right side of the monitor. Just kind of slid open and something came out. Oh, yeah. I heard a noise too. You know, the big box in the hall by the exit. I think it made a noise. Like something unlocking, you know? A noise, huh? Give me that. What are you talking about? This? And that should just look pretty sturdy. It's framed with black and yellow warning stripes. Alright, let's open it. Oh, holy shit. It's pretty damn creepy. There's a coffin in there. Coffin. Coffin? Oh man, does Seven think? Yeah, he's all pale. He's thinking the same thing I am. No way! Could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? It's a coffin. I wonder if there's a vampire in it. Right, I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell them. Well, at any rate, let's have a look around. Um, okay. There's a metal plaque on the uh, on the coffin. Snake's touching it. All eyes. Ah, the two machines. Gulp. Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Ah, well, let's uh, open it, shall we? Clover, if you could give me a hand. Okay. I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Ha. Huh. Uh. No, look. It doesn't seem to be ready to open. Yeah, but it's not like it's screwed shut or something. Yes, I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven, you think you could open it with your superhuman strength? Uh, no, uh, I... What's wrong? I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well, we'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the Forest of Knowledge, beneath the navel of the Gigantic. Is that actually true? Is this gonna be a dead girl? Um, okay, so what else have we gotta find? Right, not that. Steel cabinet with a double door. Can't open it? Okay. What's this? There's a piece of paper in here. Not sure without taking a closer look, but I think it might be a clue. Jumper, we don't need this anymore, do we? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is for a puzzle we already solved. Oh, good job. There's a whole boatload of drawers in this cabinet. There's nothing in the other drawers. Human tool's been added to this file screen. Oh, you say we don't need that. Uh, hang on. Morse code for... We might need this. What are you talking about? Maybe there's a Morse code thing about here? We've not done any Morse code yet. Pile of junk. There's nothing useful here. 
that. What am I missing here? Steel cabinet. There's nothing in here anymore. Um, okay. These monitors hang down from the ceiling. Each screen shows a room on the ship. Okay. No good. Let's see what happens when I... Ah, okay. This is different. Well, now we've got something on the screen, at least. Huh. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. I saw something like this when I figured out that Morse code puzzle back in the communications office. Morse code? Yeah. The dots on here look like dits for Morse code. There's two dots on the first line, four on the second, and one on the last. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, perhaps you should give it a shot anyway. All right, I'll try. Before I do that, though, maybe I ought to run through the instructions. If I just tap the button, uh, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, it'll enter a dare. Once we uh, enter our answer, it'll automatically determine if uh, it was correct. Um, answer or not. I can also switch between the code sheets I've got uh, by touching the three icons over on the right. All right, let's do this. Um, okay. Oh, I see. What am I supposed to spell out then? Uh, well, there's all ice, isn't there? So maybe... And then... Oh, well, actually, it's only three. Okay, what was this again? Oh. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't seem to be right. What about ice? Okay, so two is right. Because it goes on to the next line automatically, so C maybe. And then E. Here we go. I see, it seems you've solved the puzzle, Junpei. Excellent work. The answer was ice. How did you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds the machine made. After that, it was a trivial matter to, de uh, to decode them. Ah, yes. I believe I heard a noise from somewhere on the right of the device after you solved the puzzle. It sounded rather like something sliding open. Oh, was it the coffin? Do you see anything that could have made that sound? Well, that's true. Ah, yes. One more thing. I heard a sound from behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. Uh, what? Um, okay, so hang on. Coffin, are you open? Alright, fine, I'll open it. Okay, Junpei, you can do this. It's just a box. It's just a box. Oh, holy shit, this is a coffin. There's going to be something horrible in there. I just know it. Okay, okay, deep breaths. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh man, there's nobody in there. Shit, can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean, nobody? We were expecting someone to be in there. Uh, it's a long story. Ask Junpei about it sometime. Well, just like Seven said, there's nobody in there. There is something in there, though. Well, two th somethings, actually. What is that? Oh, cool. Two things on the bottom of the coffin. Looks like I've got a plate with an emblem on it, and... The Neptune key! Yes, we finally found it! I can get through the hallway. That's correct, Clover. But we do need uh, to get out of this room first, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Um, okay. 
I don't have any objections to that. I think we'll use the Neptune key in this room. It's really important though, so I'll keep it in my pocket for now. As far as this other thing goes. There it is. Okay, so we've got to find one more. The only other computer that I haven't explored is the one that's got the actual emblems on it, so maybe I'll have another look at that. This here? There are three monitors here. The power's on, but there's nothing on any of the screens. Keyboard. Let's just tap a few keys to see if we can wake things up. Damn. No dice. It's so small. I wonder what it is. Got no idea. Okay, so... I'll put the emblems into the indentation, but nothing's happening. Indentations are numbered 1 through 4. There are symbols for a steering wheel across... So steering wheel, cross, weird circle, waffle. Wheel, cross, weird circle. Okay. Hang on. Steering wheel. Oh, okay. Well, now we've got something on the monitors at least. Well, what's that? Looks like some kind of puzzle. I wonder if these are the rules. Here, I'll read them to you. When you touch a numbered area, that area will be selected and it will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red balls. You can only move three to five balls into a single area. Press the check button once you've moved all of the balls except for the red one, which you cannot move. <laughs> because uh, number nine died. The digital route of the balls in an area must match the number for that area. That's it. Okay. Uh, I still don't really get it. Whatever. Like they say, practice makes perfect. Let's give it a shot. Don't you mean practice makes perfect? Why, what did I say? Hey, let's see you solve the next one. Then you can make fun of me. Um, okay. So I've got to make six. So to make six, I need 15, 14, 12. Three. So to make three, I can use... Right? Seven, twelve, yep, yeah, and then... Um... Sixteen, I need... A six to get, uh, I mean, I need the uh, 15. So six and seven and two. Oh, they need to put all the numbers in. Okay. Um. Three. Uh, so twelve. Oh, if I put both of these in. Okay, this is it, right? But nothing's happening. There's still three more indentations left empty. I imagine something will happen when they're all filled. Doesn't that seem likely? Uh, okay, the indentations on the desk. They have the numbers one through four written on them. Numbers for steering wheel, cross, weird circle. I've already put the steering wheel in, so... Okay, let's put in the emblem of the cross. Hey, Junpei, something just showed up on the screen. The puzzle sure looks a lot like the last one. Yeah, but there's more of those red balls you can't move. Numbers for each area are different, too. Looks like it's got the same rules as the last one, though. You sure you don't want to double-check that? I'll be fine. 
If I get confused, I can just look at the screen over there, right? Anyway, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand wards. Let's give it a shot. Is not a picture is worth a thousand words? Hey, should it? Should it? At least I'm trying, all right? Okay, so now we can't do one or nine. Okay. Well, to get one is pretty easy if I do these three. Seven. Needs 16. Hang on. This is going to give me... Oops. 10. Um, 7, 17, 25. That's awesome, Junpei. There's only two left now. You can do it. All right. Yeah, the number's one through four. Okay. All right, I guess nothing happens if I put, it, uh, put that in there. Do you think that's the wrong emblem? See how the symbols are engraved in each of the indentations? They've got numbers in there, too. That's the order they're in. You've already put the steering wheel and cross in, so the next would be... So I don't have the other one, actually. Okay, so how do I get that, then? Um, What am I missing here? So have I missed... So I got that. Control panel for this thing. Nothing happens when I press the buttons. Now the screen says all in green. Okay, so not that. Drafting table. Looks like it's been used quite a bit. The chair. Pile of junk. Nothing useful here. Uh, kind of a little machine. If I turn it upside down, it looks like a robot with its eyes popped out. A couple of old-fashioned TV monitors here. Damn it, looks like this thing is locked. It's not moving. It's pretty obvious how we're supposed to open it. A mouse. Nothing happens when I press it, though. A couple of old-fashioned TV monitors. Okay, so it's not there. Um... There's a dim map of the world on here. What is solved a uh, puzzle on this thing? I don't need directions. So it's a huge machine with a compass attached to it. Uh, what else have we done? Ah, here we go. Okay, cool. Just hadn't picked it up. Okay, let's put it in. Let's put in the envelope and the secret code. Damn, this puzzle looks a lot like the last one. Looks like the rules are the same, though. Do you think you should double-check it? Come on, this is the third time I've done this. It'll be fine. So this, uh, um... If you can't think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself. You might hurt something. Ah, shut up! Just give me a break, all right? I'll think of something. All right, so one, three, and nine have gone. So to get seven and seven... Um, dum dum dum. Okay, so two, four, hmm, six and seven, eleven and eight. That's not going to give us it, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um. Oh, I was doing... Okay, yes, that's wrong. It should be... If I do this, 4, 9, 7 is 16. 2, 6... Oops. 2, 6, 8 is 16. Both of those had together to get 17. No, to get 7. Excellent word, Junpei. We've only got one left. I can see the light at the end of the uh, at the end of the tunnel, and we've nearly got it now. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what happens when I put the emblem of the coffin into this indentation. This is the fourth one. This puzzle looks a lot like that last couple. I think 
this is probably the last one. Once we solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. Alright, I'll solve it in no time. Oh, okay. What, how am I supposed to do this? Nine. Two, seven, eight. Two. Put those in there. Two, seven, nine, and eight. That won't open the door. Two, seven, and eight. Hmm. Just don't get this. At all. Uh, don't get this at all. The rules are displayed on this screen. Maybe I should read it again. Hang on. You guys are jerking, and it's still not working. Right. Screen show me. Touch a number area. The area will be selected. It'll turn blue to indicate this. Touching a number ball after selecting an area will cause the ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red balls. You can only move three to five balls into a single area. Press the check button once you've monitored. Moved all of the balls except for the red ones, which you cannot move. Digital root of the balls in an area must match the number for that area. Well, I guess those are the rules. Okay. All the emblems are in. I want to give the puzzle another shot. Then the keyboard needs to be... Oh, wait, let's give this another shot. Uh, well. Two, four, five, it's eleven, seven. Um. Two, four, five, eleven. Eighteen. Well, if I put this, that's going to make eight, isn't it? Because it's twenty-six. This one doesn't do anything. So how am I going to get that one to work? Five and... I mean... <laughs> am I supposed to know not to put anything into nine? Oh, where did that noise come from? Underneath the keyboard? Way to go, Junpei! You answered all the questions! Damn, Junpei, good job! Hey, did you hear something just now? Yes, I heard that as well. From the bottom left corner of the desk, I believe. picture. In the drawer was a single picture. Picked it up. It was a photograph of four men. What the? Involuntarily, Junpei's eyebrows shot up. He'd seen three of them before. What the hell is this? This man with the moustache on the right. He's the same guy we found murdered in the captain's quarters. He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. And this second man with the glasses and a doctor's coat. He's the ninth man, the one with the bracelet, number nine. He died after he went into door five. But this guy, the one in the striped suit. Oh man, that's Ace. Yeah, I guess it is. No doubt about it. Seven and Clover had come to peer over Junpei's shoulders. But what does it mean? What is Ace doing in this picture? Not only Ace, the ninth man and Cap too. As Junpei looked closer, he noticed the expression on each man's face. Their smiles suggesting that they were close, at least to some degree. And they looked happy, uh, happy like they knew each other well. Why? How? How in the world are these four men connected? Snake's voice broke into Junpei's thoughts. You say Ace is in that picture. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was taken recently, though. Ace, the ninth man, and Cap all uh, look about ten years younger. Ah, so the ninth man and the man you found murdered in the captain's quarters are also in this picture. Yeah. Is there anyone else, or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. No, there's one more guy. He's got kind of long hair. He looks smart, but a little cold. He's the only one I don't recognize. Hmm. Snake knit his eyebrows. What's the date of the photograph? 
It doesn't have one. Did you look at the back? Back? Yes, the reverse. The other side. All right, Snake. I got it. Uh, Junpei flipped the picture over. Ah. There it was. To be precise, it wasn't a date, but it was certainly significant. Praying for the success of the Nonary Project with Nijisaki, Kabota, and Musahi Musashideo. He read it out loud so that Snake would not be left in the dark. Praying for the success of the Nonary Project with uh, Nijisaki, Kabato, and Musashidou. Nonary Project. Nijisaki, Kabotu, Musashidou. Junpei immediately flipped the picture back over. And the four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. Since Hongo wasn't mentioned, Junpei figured they could only mean he'd written the words on the back himself. That means Ace, the ninth man, and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. But, I feel like I should be more shocked about this. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. That their true identities did not come as a surprise was what Junpei found most surprising. Why? Why am I not surprised? Ace was the one in charge of the Nonry project, but then why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. Ah, of course, I understand now. Junpei looked over at Snake. In his own confusion, he had missed the dark look on the other man's face. Ace was the CEO of uh, Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was the one who invented the game nine years ago. He was Gentaro Hongo. Ace is Hongo. Even as he uh, even as he asked, Junpei felt as though he or he'd already uh, known. Almost as if someone had whispered it into his head that yes, of course, Ace was Hongo. I had my suspicions from the beginning. The voices were similar, too similar to be a coincidence. A coinky dink, if you if you may. If you will. I could never forget his voice. It was the voice of the devil. I couldn't be sure, though. After all, I had no way to check. I certainly couldn't ask him. Even if I'd known, however, I would uh, never have told you. Zero made it quite clear what would happen if I did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Huh? I didn't know that Ace was Hongo. Oh yes, I, I suppose you wouldn't have. Nine years ago, you were in the building queue in Nevada. But Hongo was in the, the Gigantic with us. I know, that's why I didn't know what Hongo looked like. But why? Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I'm your sister, right? You could have told me. I'm sorry, I apologize for keeping this from you. But if I told you, Clover, you would have told everyone else. And if you did, then I would have been forced to tell them about what happened nine years ago. I had to prevent that. Clover and Snake's conversation wasn't of particular interest to Junpei. He still couldn't make sense out of his strange feelings of knowledge. He was trying to organize his thoughts when he learned, when he heard Seven's voice. Hey Junpei, you think I could borrow the picture for a, a sec? Sure. He had no reason to say no, so Junpei handed the picture over. Seven stared at the picture and began to mutter the four names of the project's leaders over and over to himself. Hongo, Kubato, Nijisaki, Musashidio, Do. His brow was furrowed and his face was flushed. Hongo, Kubato, Nijisaki, Musashido. He chanted their names to himself, pacing back and forth across the floor. Hongo, Kubato, Nijisaki, <laughs> Nijisaki, Musashideo. Do. Seven shouldn't have known their names. After all, he hadn't been there when Junpei and Snake had spoken of them in the library. But as Junpei watched him pace, it was clear that he did know them. Hey, Seven, do you... Shut it! Just... just be quiet! His eyes were red and Junpei could see sweat uh, beginning to bead on his forehead. I'm this close to remembering! This close! He was sweating heavily now, but his lips were dry. Hongo? Kabota, Nijisaki, Musashido, Creator Pharmaceuticals, Nonary Project. Then he stopped. Seven set down the picture and looked at the red light near his feet. His eyes narrowed. Then suddenly his eyes went wide and he shot up straight. Shit. What? What's wrong? Holy shit, this is nuts. Um, what's nuts? I remember. 
Remember what? Everything. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave it there for uh, this episode of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. What has Seven remembered? I guess we'll find out next time on Borderline Games. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.